Hello, everyone. I am Faith Godbold from A Touch of Faith. Thank you for watching the replay. Come on in, say something so that I know you're here watching. And if you're watching this part of the video, you're probably watching the replay. So as you come in, give me your positive affirmation for today. I am and fill in the blank. So let's see. Today, I must say I am rested. I've been working so hard, I would say, this past week, and my body said, Faith, you need to rest. And so I made sure that I spent some time doing that, and I will tell you, it makes such a difference, especially when you work as hard as I do. So if you can attest to that, let me know in the comments. And I definitely want to hear your affirmation. And if you want to share where you're watching from, feel free to comment your city and state. Thank you for joining us here on Facebook. YouTube, and on Twitter. So I can't wait to see who joins us tonight. We are going to create a black and white wreath bow, and this is going to be a bow that we can add to this gorgeous grapevine design. So I can't wait to share that with y'all. We're going to get started with this project. Let me go ahead and get us pulled up, and hopefully y'all can hear me. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay, and if you can see me. I am trying to multitask and work on all the things. So I am super excited to be back, y'all. It looks like we're going to aim for about six o'clock as being our new time on Tuesday. So I hope this time works for you. I have been playing around with maybe five or 5.30. Of course, Saturdays will probably go live a little bit earlier than six o'clock, but give me some feedback. What do y'all think about this time? Six o'clock on Tuesdays, does that work? And that, of course, is Eastern Standard Time. So I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. I see my mom has made it. Hey, mom, how are you? And Miss Gail is here. Well, hello, Miss Gail. I've been missing you. How are you doing? I hope you're feeling well. It's wonderful to see you today. And I see Miss Betty is here. Hey, Miss Betty, how are you? And Shay has made it. Hey, Shay, how are you doing? So y'all, we are going to work on this grapevine, and I thought today we would just take care of the bow, and we're going to have some beautiful white letters that will go on the side. I'm going to add some beautiful greenery for my customer, and this one's actually going on a church door here in Florence. So I was so excited to get this order. So if you don't know um, what type of wreath base this is, some customers call it a twig wreath but it sort of resembles like branches if you look at it limbs you might call it that but this makes a beautiful elegant wreath and it's something that you can really keep on your door in between holidays it's perfect for every day and this is something that you're in need of i would love i would to have you have one on your door i know this is a hard kind of tricky time of the year i know i was uh, reading on one of the groups that i'm in and the person said they took down their Christmas and then all of a sudden they put up fall. <laughs> they didn't have any other wreath to hang. So I don't want that to be y'all. Please tell me you don't have fall hanging on your door right now. And my mom might have her fall swag still up, but my mom's different. My mom loves all of her wreaths y'all that I make, but she just doesn't take them down. <laughs> all right, let me clean off my table a little bit. Yay, Miss Shay. Yes, I'm going to make something beautiful for y'all. And I see my cousin Pam is here. Hey, cousin, how are you? So glad y'all are all here. I think we had eight people already so far tuning in. So let's get our numbers up because we need to do a giveaway on this page, don't we? We did our uh, Facebook stars giver. Um, what was that? 2022. So yeah, we need to do a giveaway on this page. There, Sister Julia. Hey, sis, how are you? So I am getting everything all set. I've picked out this beautiful black and white. It's kind of like a plaid or a checkered design. Y'all have seen me use this before, but I love this one because it's really nice for an everyday um, wreath. Oh, and y'all, speaking of which, I got to show you my new nails in person. So look, can y'all see what I did? Let me hold my hand closer so y'all can see. Look at there. I am loving my nails. I have on four different colors this time. So if you're in my private group, you already know the colors. And if you've been paying attention on my page, you know the colors. But can anyone guess any of the colors that I'm wearing? I'll go a little closer for you. Let's see. There we go. Can y'all see? So try to take a guess 
while I'm live. Let me know what colors do you think I'm wearing and I'll be sure to tell you if you're correct. All right, so we're gonna make a beautiful bow. And I'm glad I have a good bit of this ribbon remaining because this is one of my favorite ribbons to use. So we're gonna cut our tail pretty long here. I'm gonna go a little longer than what I normally do just in case because I feel like I might curl the tails up a little bit. Thank you, Shay. So we are going to, first of all, get started. I'm going to add some tails to this bow. And if you want to learn how to make bows, I go nice and slow in my private group, Faith's Creative Circle, and we are accepting new members. So if you want to get in for 2023, we've been having a blast creating all the things, and I would love to have you come join us. We have so much fun making wreaths and bows and garlands and swags and all the things, right? All right, so I have my ribbon all ready and set to go. So I think my tails will hang about that long. That's what I'm looking forward to. And so we're going to go ahead and get this added in first. And then I always like to check just to make sure I have everything even before I get started. And I do. Okay, so y'all going to guess my nails? And I can't wait to see what y'all say. <laughs> And if you've been keeping up with some of the colors that I've been talking about, you might already know. All right, so let's get several loops going here because I really want this bow to be nice and full on the grapevine wreath base. And I have a similar wreath like this available on my website. So if you are interested in grabbing one of these, you certainly can. I did not get the link from my website, but if you're interested in that, I can certainly post that for you. Okay, so we're just gonna fluff it as we go. And I've kind of gotten into the habit lately of fluffing one layer um, after I'm kind of done. So we might do that again today. All right, and I'm using my little handy dandy bow maker because it makes it easier on my hands. I don't have to hold everything in my hands, although sometimes I do make my bows by hand. And they turn out pretty beautiful too, but I like my bow maker. So what are y'all up to today for this last day of January? My mom just celebrated her birthday yesterday. So if you were on my, um, let's see, personal page, I shared a post yesterday, but hey, a touch of faith community. Can y'all wish my mom a birthday? Happy birthday, because she is the mom of A Touch of Faith, and I feel like she's the mother of so many of you all. She has lots of spiritual daughters, so I have spiritual sisters, and mom does such a great job of taking care of, I would say, our community, because we share a lot of the same people, so y'all wish my mom a happy birthday. Her birthday was yesterday. She turns 69. She does not look at it all, does she? Hey, Matt, my brother made it. How are you? So, yes. So, hopefully, that's an indication of what I'll look like at that age. <laughs> but I am so blessed to have mom for my mother. And she's my greatest cheerleader and supporter. So, we will celebrate her birthday uh, virtually this weekend. So looking forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun. But thank y'all for the birthday wishes. I know mom appreciates it. And I think mom, last I checked, you had a ton on my page. I can't remember how many. So I know you've been trying to keep up with everyone wishing you a happy birthday. Y'all like that when um, you get all the shout outs and the different posts on social media for your birthday. Let me know in the comments. Do y'all like that? Because, you know, I'm still relatively new to social media. I've been on social media for four years now, I guess. Let's see, is it four years? Or is it five years? Going on five years. I guess this is going on five years now because I did not join Facebook until A Touch of Faith was born. And so really and truly, all of that at that point was just something I experienced like through my mom's page 
And then now that I have my own page, I realize, oh my goodness, like you can get so many shout outs. It's hard to keep up. Do y'all feel that way too? Or is it just me? And sometimes it takes me days just to go through like all of the birthday shout outs from people who post on my personal page or on my business page. But it's truly amazing just to see all the love and feel all the love, right? Okay, so y'all, I am just making this bow. I'm actually just stacking it all right now, and then I'm going to go back and fluff it. Usually I fluff as I go, but lately I've just started stacking it first, which makes it easy really to measure. And then we're going to come back and fluff it out. And then y'all can tell me what you think about it. So speaking of birthdays, I guess the next birthday will be mine. My birthday will be in exactly, what, 18 days once February comes in. So we'll have to see how we're going to celebrate this year. It's on a Saturday. So we'll have to see. I know the last time it was on a Saturday, I think my mom changed her live time a little so we could do something on my page. So we'll see. I'll chat with mom and we'll figure out how we're going to celebrate and when and get all the details together after we get hers done, I'm sure. <laughs> all right, y'all. So I think my bow, I think I have enough loops. I'm pretty happy with that. Let me tighten this up just a little bit. All right. So let's go ahead and cut this off. And then we'll come back and we'll fluff it out. And I know y'all are ready to see it fluffed, right? So let's go ahead and that always, so let's go ahead and let's see. I think I'm going to tie it first and then fluff it because I want to show you how if you stack your bows like this at the end of the season, this is an easy way that you can come back the next year and actually fluff yours. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tie it off. We're going to have everything blending in so it won't be seen. Hey, brother. Gary Midas is here. Got the whole family joining in. How are you? So good to see you. All right. So let's pretend this is the end of the season. Christmas is over or whatever the holiday is that you're celebrating for is over. This is a great way for you to store your bows. Y'all see how I just flattened it just like that? Okay. Okay. So that is a perfect way you can just lay your bow flat. And that is actually a great way for you to store it so you don't have to worry about it taking up extra space. But let's talk about what you would do the next year. So when it's time for you to use your bow again, okay, here's what we're going to do. Since I've flattened this bow, I'm going to start with the center. I actually made a center loop on this one, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to separate these various loops. So one of them I'm going to pull to my left. And so the other loop I'm going to pull to my right. Let me zoom in so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm literally going opposites. So the third one I'm going to pull to my left. The next one, the fourth one, I'm going to pull to my right. And I'm alternating. All right. This is an, a fifth one, so I'm going to leave it in the middle, and then I'm going to pull again. So pull to the left, pull to the right, and I'm going to leave this one in the middle, just like that. And that's all I'm doing so far. And then on the bottom, since I started on the left when I was at the top, I'm going to pull to the right, pull to the left. I'm just pulling one loop at a time. Let me know if this makes sense in the comments, okay? Just pulling, and then I'm going to let this odd one stay in the middle. And then I have three more, so I'm going to pull to the right, pull to the left, and then let this one stay in the middle. 
Okay, what do y'all think so far? Look at there. So it doesn't look like much yet. It's still flat, but that's the start. Hey, Miss Patricia, how are you? We are fluffing out a bow. Welcome, welcome over on YouTube. All right, so now, now that I have all of the layers separated, and I see my brother saying he's still celebrating mom too. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so now that we have all of the loops spread out and separated, now let's go ahead and fluff. So for fluffing, all we're going to do is just take our fingers and we're gonna go inside the layer. And really, if you put your finger inside the loop like that, it actually opens it up and gives it that fullness, okay? And then I'm literally going to do that for every layer. So I'm going to put my fingers in and I'm just using my first four fingers like this and I'm opening those layers up, okay? And let me do the one to the right. You can just do one loop at a time. You can use your left or your right hand. It does not matter which one. Okay, and see how I'm starting to bring life to my bow now? Okay, so that's those three. And now let's go ahead and get this middle one. And I just take my time, put my fingers in. And literally, this is how easy it is to bring life back to my bow. Now, at the end of the season, if I wanted, I could leave it already spread out and just flatten it also like that. So you don't have to bring all the loops back together and, you know, separate them. You could just flatten it exactly the way it's positioned. Okay. And look, y'all, half of the bow has life now. Do y'all see that? See how this half already has life? Okay. And we'll make these tails behave in just a minute. They're just kind of doing their own thing right now. <laughs> So we'll give them a little bit of life in just a minute. Y'all like that so far? And then now we're going to come over and do the same thing on this side, okay? So on the opposite side, the side closest to me, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to lift up that loop, just open it. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the loop on the right. Let me zoom in some more to make sure y'all can really see. There we go. Okay. And then look. I'm going to open this one on the other side. So now I have all of those ready to go. They have their own shape. And then now I'm going to work out. Okay, so lifting this loop just like that. Look at how I gave it a lot of life. Okay, and I'm going to do the next loop. And there's no order for the loops. Okay, last time I started in the middle. You can start wherever. Doesn't matter. All right. Have two more, y'all. So I'm going to open up, give this one some life. And last one. And give it some life. So I like to kind of take my fingers and just stretch and spread it open just like that. And then I look at it from the front. And then as you saw me already doing, I take my hands and I kind of just arch up that tail, see how it's easily giving it shape? Same thing for the tail at the bottom. You could even roll these tails if you wanted to. So let's say for instance, let me open my camera back. Let's say for instance, and here's what we have by the way. So take a look at the beautiful bow. Look at there y'all, we did it. Woo hoo, what do y'all think? I need to put this bow on the website in case y'all just want the bow, but there is the bow, look at there. So here's what I was saying. If you wanted, if you didn't want your tails to hang like this, right, you could curl them. So what that looks like is you would just take the end and you would just start twirling it around on itself, curl it up nicely. Okay, you could roll it all the way up. I'm going to keep rolling it just for a second to show you. All right, look at the difference. Do you see how that one's rolled? Right there, this one is rolled. And I can do the same thing for the other two. And here's what I really love. Sometimes I'll come back and I'll pull on that curl just a little. And look, now it has a cute little spiral. <laughs> can y'all see my little spiral curl that I made? Thank you, ladies. Thank y'all so much. See my little spiral? It's like when we um, curl our hair. Y'all remember the spiral curlers? I used to have a pair of those spiral curl curlers. 
So you make your finger become like your curlers. And then we could do that for all of them if we want it. So let me just show you how you have options. Okay. So how did I do that again? You just take your, your bow. Okay. And you start curling it. And it's wired ribbon. So it literally will curl up and stay curled. Okay. So there's that one. All right. Here's the last one. So if we want to curl it. Yeah. My brother remembers. I used to curl my hair especially before we would go to church. I would change up my hairstyle. I'd look one way for school. And then we went to church at night on the weekends. I'd change my hair. <laughs> all right. So see how they're all curled up now? All because of the wire. And then if I want it, let's see if I can pull it. So I've already pulled this one. Let me pull it. I'm going to have to look at it, y'all. So if I want it, I could pull that one. Okay. And I didn't roll it as tight. The tighter you roll it, the tighter your curl will be. But see how I have different little curls now? And it's the same bow, but I've changed up the look of the bow. So if you want your bows as you are ordering them, if you want to change the look, you can actually just curl the ends. And then if I wanted, when I get ready to add it to the wreath, so let's pretend I'm ready to add. I'm not going to add it yet for real, but we could add it to the wreath just like that with those curls. So let me show you what that would look like just to give us some options. Thank y'all. I know, right? Isn't it amazing how you can just change things up like that? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and these also work well on lanterns. So you've seen me um, show you how to add these to lanterns. I've got to bring my lantern back in here. I have not done that. I'll make sure I do that before the next bow tutorial. Okay. So see how I've added the bow. I'm just going to tie it on just a little bit just to show you. And see now, let's pretend that I've added it for real to this grapevine, do you see how these little um, curls, they're just kind of hanging. They're doing their own thing. So I can position them based on however I want them to hang. Notice this one's not as tight anymore. So I could re-roll it and tighten it up again. And I would turn it around and tighten it, right? And I could pull it out. But here's what I want to show you. You're not stuck. Later on, if you say, hey, I don't want it curled anymore. So see how I just pull that one down? Maybe you don't want it curled anymore. You can go back to the way it was. You just pull the ribbon just like this. Okay. And that curl comes out. So it's not permanent. It's kind of like how our hair, you know how your hair sometimes will start to fall. Well, it won't fall. But you can just take your fingers, work it back through that ribbon and look. Now our tails are hanging long and beautiful again. Y'all like that? So those are the options we have as we are thinking about decorating with our bows. And this is one of my favorite bows to make y'all. I love, love, love this. So this is what I'm planning to do. And I'm not going to add it now because I've got to get the greenery. But I'm going to add some greenery to this side. And then I have the letters for the name of the church. So I'm thinking I'm going to hook them together and I'm going to try to do it so I can show y'all how it looks. All right. I know y'all can't see that. You're looking at it backwards, but what do y'all think about that? I'm going to turn it around just so y'all can see. And I don't want to tilt it because if I tilt it, the letters might fall. I'm going to tilt it just a little. But what do y'all think? So we're going to have the letters for the church on the side. And then we'll have some greenery here coming from the bow. Y'all think that would be beautiful? So let me know in the comments. And the white is perfect, so I'm not going to paint these letters at all. And this will be my first time doing a wreath like this for a church. You know, normally I do the big initial, like if... Um, Shay wanted one, we'd have a beautiful B, or Sister Julia wanted one, we'd have a G, like Ganey, Godbold, right? <laughs> 
So yeah, Miss Pam, if she wanted one, my cousin, we have a beautiful M. So this is going to be my first time trying the three letters like that. But I was super excited to find like this. I want to try that. So they'll have the first letters of their name for the church. So yay. Oopsie, there it goes. It's falling now. <laughs> so y'all love it. I love it too. So that's going to be my next project that I will get to finish up. Now that we have the bow all ready to go, and I can't wait to see what my customer thinks. I sent her a picture of the wreath with the letters. So I'm so excited. I can't wait. All right. I'm going to grab that link just in case anyone wants to check that out on the website. Let me go grab it real quick. And let's see. There are several great finds that you can choose from. And I'm going to grab the one that is most similar to this. And you are welcome to check it out. If you are local to Florence, of course, you could do pickup. Or if you want it delivered, you can certainly have it delivered. So that's the wreath right there. So feel free to check out that link. And yeah, this is going to be beautiful. So what questions do y'all have? This has been a fun, exciting live. I am loving this ribbon. We'll have to make some more of those bows because I really think I need to add that bow. I don't think I have that. Let me look. I know I have another black and white bow that y'all love. But let me look and see. I don't think. Nope. Don't see that one. So if that's a bow you would like, just comment on this live and let me know. And we can certainly get that one um, created just for you. So it would be just the bow and not with the wreath. Okay. All right. Do y'all have any questions for me? Any questions? If you're in my um, beauty bar VIP group, if you are interested in the refresh and renew, bundle that includes the nail strengthener, the cuticle oil, the nail polish remo remover, and the cuticle balm. Y'all, today is the last day to order that bundle. And I will tell you, I have my cuticle oil right here. I keep it in my desk. And this stuff is amazing, y'all. I don't know. Have y'all seen that? Let me zoom in so y'all can see. This is my cuticle oil. And I absolutely love it. It's easy to apply. And I'll show you what I do every day. Let me clean this little spot right here. And I do it throughout the day. So I like to have a bottle wherever I sit. So I keep one um, by the bed. I have one here in my desk. Keep one at work too, just in case. But look, this is what I do. So let me show you. I'm going to zoom in. So I take the oil and it's just like a polish brush. And I apply it to my nails around the cuticle and I also apply it to my nail plate. That's that square area above the cuticle right there. Okay. And I do that throughout the day several times. So do you see how I'm just lightly brushing over and it doesn't take a lot. So hopefully you can see I'm applying it right there above too. See how I'm doing it right there. Okay. So I brush my actual nail, and then I brush the area above, just like so, okay? And then after I've done that, I do the same thing on the other hand. And then what I do is I take my, my finger and I massage it in. And so that way I keep my cuticles softened so I don't have to worry about peeling. And it just makes my hands feel so much better. So if you want um, that Refresh and Renew bundle, today is the last day to order that set. You can order everything individually. You just can't get the um, cuticle. I'm sorry. Yes, you can't get the cuticle balm in the Refresh and Renew bundle. So I ordered that bundle because I wanted that cuticle balm. But if you want just the cuticle oil or the nail strengthener or the polish remover, you can certainly order those individually. Yes, ma'am. You can brush the sides too. And really, if you don't brush the sides, um, 
shave. By the time you massage it, you really have massaged or brushed it in, but you can. I actually, when I was doing it just then, I brushed around the cuticle and even on top of my nail and above. So that little nail plate and I just massage it in. It feels so soft. And let me see. I did not do the right hand. My right hand looks a little rough, but I'm going to zoom in and show you because I didn't put on any moisturizer. I washed my hands before going live. You may not be able to see this, but this hand does not have the moisture from the cuticle oil and this one does. So I don't know if on the camera you can tell, but this one is shinier, softer. Hey, Miss Kathy. So yeah, it really, really makes a difference and I'm loving it. So like I said, I keep several bottles and um, those of you who saw me open my color play subscription box it had a little small cuticle oil so i keep that one in my other um, room where i have a like desk and everything so yeah i just like having it wherever i am that way i don't have any excuses because sometimes i don't know if you're like this if i see a little dry spot i'm tempted to pick at it and peel it but now i don't do that instead i just immediately put that cuticle oil on and it takes care of it Okay, I love that question. That was a great question, Shay. Anyone else have any questions? Let me grab that link in case you want to check out the hand, uh, let's see, and nail care items. You will see the refresh and renew is the first item on the screen. So this is the hand and nail care. And guess what? These products, uh oh, get my camera. Went out for a second. Men, don't feel like you can't take care of your cuticles as well. I tell my husband that he needs to use my cuticle oil too. So I'm slowly getting him on board with this. <laughs> so if you are a man and you're watching tonight, if you want some of that cuticle oil, you can certainly take care of your cuticles as well. Um, that cuticle balm that I mentioned is only available in the Refresh and Renew. And today is the last day to grab that bundle. I don't know if they'll be bringing that back. But really and truly, you're getting that for free if you add up the cost of the other three items. Um, yeah, that cuticle balm is pretty much free. But you can read all of the ingredients when you click on that link. Okay. All right. What else do y'all have for me? This was awesome. Awesome, awesome. So I'm finishing up custom orders. I have one, two, three, four, five, if my number is correct. I have really six orders. So I'm working my way through those orders. I've been trying to give my customers numbers just to kind of give them a heads up as to where they are um, in the flow of the orders. So if you've placed an order, yours is probably coming up in the queue. Um, you'll get an email so that you know once I've started working on the order. And yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, yay, Miss Shay. All right. Well, Miss Shay, that link is in the comments. In the, and I'm going to have to do something special for y'all in the group. So if you all, and I'll announce this in the VIP group. So I'll go over there. But for those placing orders today, just kind of know something special is coming for y'all. Okay. So I appreciate everyone so much for your support. If you're not in the VIP group, let's get you in. So that's Faith beautybar.com. Click on the link that says join VIP group. I'd love to have you. If you want a sample so you can try out these nails for yourself, you can certainly request a sample. I'd love to see your nail fees. Once you have tried out the polish, I want to see what you think. And I don't think anyone guessed my polish. So I'll go ahead and tell y'all what I'm wearing. I know mom, mom, you should know one because it's your favorite. All right, so let me go ahead and tell y'all what I'm wearing. So this beautiful plum looking color, this one's called New York Minute. So I have that on my thumb and my middle finger there. And then y'all know this one, Tokyo Lights. So if you would love a sample of that, you can click that link, Faith Beauty Bar, and request a sample. and I'll be happy to mail it out to you. So Tokyo Lights is on my index and pinky finger. And then on my ring finger, y'all, I have two colors. I have at the plaza first. Yep, there you go, mom. <laughs> I have at the plaza, and then I have a clear overlay called between the lines. So I have two colors on my ring finger. So I have four colors on y'all. So this is definitely a mixed mani. I'm loving it. I was not quite ready to put on my Valentine set yet, but I was so wanting to try the 
New York Minute, and I wanted to add some pizzazz, so I jazzed it up with the Tokyo lights and threw on the Tokyo, or at the plaza, with the between the lines. So I do have at the plaza as a sample, too, if you would like to try that out, okay? All right, you all are awesome. You have made my day. I don't know what else to say. I just want to say thank you so much. So if you have not yet um, gotten your own notifications for when we go live, make sure you click on the bell if you're on Facebook. If you're on YouTube, you can click the bell to subscribe. You can even share, my mom says, share this video out to anyone. You can message them. So I would love to have more people um, who are interested in what we have to offer, because I know it's not just for me, but what I'm able to share, my gift and my talent, the information. I feel like it's um, educational, inspiration, all of that, the value that I'm able to bring. And I appreciate you spending your time. I hope you did find it valuable being here tonight. And I always am just truly blessed by your presence. That is the biggest present of all. So thank you all for being here tonight, okay? All right, let's see if we have anything else before we head out for tonight. I'm going to make sure I didn't miss any comments. Let's check. And if you think of anything after this live has ended, make sure you just leave it right here and I will certainly come back and answer and respond to your questions, okay? All right, everyone. Well, thank you for being the best part of A Touch of Faith. And I don't think I have any announcements. Let me think real quick. Um, I don't think there's anything coming up. Um, if you're in my business group, I'll see you Thursday for our first live of February, Creative Circle. Um, we did not have class Sunday. I will get probably a tutorial either uploaded for us or we may do a pop-up live. So I'll see about that. I'll get back with you all. And then we'll be back on this page Saturday, probably around five o'clock. And I hopefully we'll get to see my VIP beauty bar group on Saturday as well. So we have so many great things in store. Um, I would love to have you come join us on one of these opportunities. If you're interested in learning how to have a business, I know I have so many of you who have ventured out into the online space. I call it social selling. So if that's something that's in your heart and you want to learn how to do it better, come join us at Faith's Business Group. You can learn all about it by visiting www.learnfromfaith.com. That is linked on my website. And I would love to have you come learn from me. I'm also teaching courses and classes on all things wreath making, bow making, that is available under that link as well. And then if you want to come join my Color Street team, I'd love to have you. You can host a beauty social or come join my team. We have so many wonderful things in store. I'd love to share more information with any of you who are interested, okay? I think I've covered it all. So, I see everyone is saying good night and bye. So yes, please have a wonderful, blessed night. Continue to stay safe. I know there's a lot going around right now. We've had several people out at work um, who've been getting sick. So be careful. Take care of yourselves so that I can see you again really, really soon. I want y'all to be healthy and well so that we can do this again. Okay. All right, everyone. I love you all so much. Until next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.